Our first fighter making his way to the cage and into the blue corner. Luke Bradley! And his opponent making his way to the red corner. Glenn the Dragon Crossland! Ladies and gentlemen, your official introductions for this amateur bout sponsored by Designbox. First, the fighter standing to my left in the blue corner. His fighter is 26 years of age. He stands six feet, three inches tall, and weighed in at 77 kilograms. Here's a record of no wins, one loss, no draws. Hailing from Lincolnshire and representing Lockdown MMA, Luke Bradley. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall, and weighed in at 77 kilograms. He has a record of one win, no loss, no draw. With that women win coming by way of TKO, hailing from Barnsley in Yorkshire and representing the fight unit, Glenn the Dragon Crossland. Amateur welterweight contest here at okay, CSFC3. We've got the fight units Glenn okay, Crossland in the red trunks and lockdown MMA's Lou Bradley in the red shorts with black trim. Crossland coming primarily out of a striking gym. Names his background as karate and uh, I know his gym are very well versed in that area. He's one win, that win coming by TKO. And uh, his opponent across the cage, Bradley, has had one fight also, but he's uh, lost that fight got by some mission. Got caught with a big head kick then as well. That's good work, that man managing to kick somebody in the head when they're six foot three. Yeah, he's a rangy guy for this weight, very tall for a welterweight. Yep, you usually see welterweights around 5'11", six foot. But it's not doing him any good there, he's been taken down now. Yep, he's not too tall, flat on his back, and Crossland drags it to the mat. And straight away looking to tee up maybe an arm triangle from this position with his head in the armpit. Yep. When you bypass the legs like that, a guy's long legs, it, you know, they can't be so effective when you've got the mount. Yeah, I mean, he's, uh, from here he could be looking for that sort of uh, uh, leg wrap around to get out of mount, but at the moment he's just sitting there and looking lost. Yeah, big shots coming in from Crossland on top. Not the most accurate of shots, but some are getting through. Turns to try and take the back. He's got the arm triangle position. He's let it go, though. Yeah, he's uh, still trying to keep that head tight in the armpit, but he, he's uh, missed it there, but he's got a nice high mount. He needs to work his posture and really try and pick his shots to try and get through that defensive uh, Bradley. So I agree with that. That's what I, I tell my fighters. When you're in this position, find the quality shots. When he starts covering up and he's looking damaged, that's when you throw those flurries. But for the moment, quality is what counts. Clean, hard shots. Yep, and uh, Bradley just holding on from the bottom, trying to keep uh, Crossland's posture down. Nice switches off for an armbar, possibly. He's got it. He's got a position. 
It needs to really extend Crank the down. arm. Bradley doing a good job with them long legs of just disrupting Grossland's game. Yeah, it's not an effective defence, but it might do enough to disrupt it and for Crossland to give it up and look for something else. Yep, I think that armbar might be tight. He's looking to uh, do the right thing, just trying to open it up, use that, that shin there to take Bradley's head away. Yeah, make it uncomfortable. But those legs are really causing Glenn some trouble. So not a textbook defence, Aaron, but one that's obviously worked for him there. Yeah, I mean, you, he's using his natural attributes, those legs that can be awkward in many positions, and that worked for him then. And now he gets his chance on top. Leaving his arm out, though, that armbar's going to come. He's got a triangle. Yeah, that triangle looks tight from Crossland there. And, and he's, he's turned it, turned the wrong way, really. Hammer fist from Bradley. It's not the most effective escape. Looks a bit loose, but Bradley needs to sort of think of cranking that on. He's gone for the armbar, he's got it. Nice finish there, switches from the triangle to the armbar, gets the tap, round one, and the karate, karate fighter manages to add a submission win to his record. Glenn Crossland now 2-0. Oh. Aaron Chatfield in the cage with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, two minutes, 49 seconds of the first round, your winner by way of armbar triangle. In a red corner, Glenn Crossland. Put your hands together for his opponent, Luke Bradley.